Hey, what's going on guys? Adam here with AmericanMuscle.com and today I'm bringing you a detailed review of the Stow & Show detachable front license plate bracket fitting all 15 and newer GT V6 and EcoBoost Mustangs. So if you're the owner of a 15 or newer Mustang and you're looking for a way to get rid of the ugly front bumper license plate when you're at a car show, but you wanna easily put it back on when you're hitting the road, you might wanna check out the Stow & Show detachable front license plate bracket. So with the Stow & Show detachable front license plate bracket, you can have your license plate on your vehicle completely clear and visible throughout the day while you're on the road driving just to keep it street legal. When you pull into a car show, when you're in the lineup, it's definitely an eyesore to see that front plate on the front bumper. You can easily detach it for the car show, and when you're leaving the show to get back on the road, you can put it back on in seconds. Now for you guys in the states that require a front license plate, this will be definitely very useful. This will not require you to drill into the front bumper to make any modifications visibly to the front bumper, but you will have to drill one single hole underneath the bumper that won't be visible and won't affect any appearance. Now detaching the front license plate was made extremely simple thanks to a spring-loaded pin as you can see here on the side. When it's mounted on the front of your vehicle, all you'll have to do is pull that pin and slide it right off. Putting it back together when you're leaving the show is extremely simple. All you would do is pull the pin again and push it straight through and you're locked in. So this bracket was actually manufactured right here in the US out of precision cut 5052 and 6061 aluminum for durability, all hand welded by professionals for top notch quality. It's also finished in an automotive black paint for from the factory look so you don't have to worry about it looking cheap. Now the only downside to the fitment aspect of this bracket is that it's only meant to work with the factory front phages on the GTs, V6s and EcoBoost. If you are rocking an aftermarket body kit or some kind of chin spoiler that includes the Roush chin spoiler, then this unfortunately won't work with your setup. We've also seen and had customer testimonials tell us that it doesn't actually work with the Performance Pack GTs or the 50th anniversary packages. So if you do have those, you would have to do a little bit of drilling into your air deflector, which would conflict with the drilling spot for this bracket. So just keep that in mind when you're shopping around. So price-wise for this particular bracket I have here today, you can expect to be spending just about $80, which is definitely an affordable way to easily get rid of your front license plate bracket when pulling up to a car show. Now some of the other options on the market would be like the flip down license plate, both motorized and manual, which can run you about $140. So this is definitely one of the less expensive options and one of the ones that gives you a lot of bang for your buck. Now before you get started, you wanna have a couple of common hand tools on hand, like a jack and jack stand, you wanna have a T15 Torx bit, quarter inch ratchet, seven and 10 millimeter sockets, extension, a drill, a 1 8 drill bit, and maybe some safety glasses. So to kick off the installation, you'll remove the two center spoiler screws with an eight millimeter socket and start getting the base of the bracket in place. You'll start by using the two holes facing the front of the vehicle and the pin side facing up. You'll use the two supplied screws and the two nylon spacers to get this bolted in place. Next, you'll take your drill and drill bit and you're gonna drill one pilot hole in the pre-drilled hole on the actual base mount. Once you get that drilled out, you can use a supplied screw and secure that in place. At this point, you can test the bracket by attaching and detaching it from the actual base plate by pulling the pin. If it works, then you're all set and you're good to go. Overall, you're looking at spending about a half an hour in the driveway at home. I definitely give this a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter because it's something anybody can do, like I said, in that driveway with a couple of basic hand tools. So just to quickly wrap things up, guys, if you're the owner of a 15 or newer Mustang and you're looking for a way to get rid of that eyesore of a front license plate on your front bumper, but you wanna be able to quickly put it back on when hitting the road, then you might wanna check out the Stow & Show no-drill detachable front license plate bracket available right here at AmericanMuscle.com.